Welcome to Tennis Spin, where we put our spin on your tennis. Today, a lot of you have actually asked me, can you tell me what things weigh and how it may alter my tennis? Well, I'm, I'm going to answer that for you today. All right, guys, so a bunch of you have contacted me saying, can you do a video on how much things weigh? Uh, because when a tennis racket comes into my store, gets strung, gets into your hands to play with, weights of the racket, balances of the racket, swing weights of the racket change. When it comes, when it is on the wall, right, unstrung, plastic on, placard on, all that contributes to the weight of the racket. Now, we take the placard off, we take the plastic off the handle, we just release some of the weight, okay? Everything online, all that, most of the online sites will tell you strung weight. So that's pretty much a racket that is strung, kind of an estimate, okay? Kind of an estimate, because that will be determined upon what kind of string you chose, the gauge, um, and what else is there? Well, but, well, that would be it for what they're guesstimating online. But we all know that once you get it strung, it, it doesn't end there, right? You put overgrip on it. You put a dampener on it. You might cut the strings out, go thinner, go thicker, do a hybrid. Well, how does all that alter your racket? Well, I'm going to show you right here. Um, I actually got a scale. Um, this is a kitchen scale that will weigh up to five pounds. It's one of those um, electric, I guess you call these digital scales so that we can get um, more into detail about the grams, okay? But I'm gonna first start with the dampeners here. So we all know dampeners come in a assorted sizes, shapes. Um, you know, you have this head one that goes all the way through your racket. We have the samples one with the hole in the middle. Um, we got that Japanese tea leaf, as I call it. Uh, you guys might know better, but that's just what I'm standing by. Uh, and then we got a solid Dunlop one right here. Everybody's favorite Wilson here. Uh, this Technofiber one here uh, to weigh, okay? So let's start with what I think is the lightest one. So this got a hole in the middle. This is not solid. So let's put it on the scale. It's zeroed out right now. Put it right in the middle. It's three ounces, three grams, excuse me, three grams. Okay. Let's go with maybe the second lightest, which I thought would be this Technofiber one. That's four grams. Nope, it's three grams. We just switched three grams. So both of these weigh the same. How about this Wilson one that everybody likes? That's four grams. Hmm, a little shocking. How about smoking that tea leaf? Hmm, four grams. I mean, you would think that's, that's pretty solid. How about the lion? The lion. Five grams on the lion. That means this should be five grams. Five grams. Bald eagle. Okay. Dunlop should be five. Nope, it's four. Luxalon, four. Fabula, three. Tennis spin, four. And how about this little thing, this little wormy thing from head? Four. All right, so what did we learn from weighing these dampeners? Well, they're not consistent. Um, unlike tennis balls in which I did a video on, um, I'm going to link that to the bottom here. 
Uh, balls are regulated. They have to be of a certain weight. Every ball that is approved for league play, match play, have to has to be an almost exact weight. Dampeners, not regulated. Okay, so it's kind of on the discretion of the manufacturer. So we learned that we can be as low as three grams, four grams, or as high as five grams. So I've actually seen a dampener that has a little chip in it that can be as high as six grams. So when you're adding grams to dampeners, you're adding weight to your racket, to your the head of your racket. So just take that into consideration when you're customizing your rackets that you, if you put a dampener on, you will be adding weight. Now the, the next thing that everybody's gonna have to have on their tennis racket um, is strings, right? How much is string gonna add to your racket? What is the difference between the gauges? Um, we're going to actually start with Gamma Professional because they come in an uh, assortment of four different sizes, essentially. Because you got an 18, a 17, a 16, and then a 16 spin, professional spin. So I'm going to take these out of the package. Uh, I'm guessing the packages are pretty consistent. So and hopefully everybody measured right over there. Um, and see how it goes. Okay. So I'm going to, this is not going to be super like accurate, accurate, because obviously this is on here, right? It's going to add a little something and we're not going to really be using this whole string on a racket. There will be like maybe six feet or more that's going to be cut off of this thing. But, uh, just to let you know what the differences are between the gauges, um, I'm guessing a machine did this, so it should be really, really accurate. Okay, so set of 18 gauge professional. It is 16 grams. 17, 19, oh, 18 grams. 16, ooh, 21 grams. Now the last one is actually a 16, but they've added another coating to it um, to roughen it up a bit. So let's see if that added weight. It added one gram. Okay. Okay. So just just let me clarify something for you. Um, your racket won't be taking all of this weight. Uh, it'll probably be taking about 16 to 17 grams because I won't be using the whole set of string, uh, nor will I be using the tie strap on it. So this is just for gauging the differences in the string weights um, of these gauges. So what did we learn? We learned that there is a difference. I mean, this is 16 grams on the 18, right? Um, you pretty much go in, you go up about two grams when you go up in a gauge. So the difference between these two is going to be one to two grams. Between 17 and 16 is two grams. Now, here's the interesting thing. Between 16 and 16 uh, spin... Uh, it went up a gram because they've added an extra wrap on it. So and I'm going to show you the picture of that wrap. According to their specs, there's still 1.32 millimeters on the thickness. But if you look at the picture, there's that extra wrap on the top to roughen that string up. That's what's giving it an extra gram. Okay. Now, let's talk about polys. So I got my confidentials here. I got 18, 17, and 16L. So I wanted to test these out for you 
to see if um, anything changes in the polyester gauges. Okay, so I'm going to start with probably 18 up front here. Here, 18 is up front. Okay, 18 gauge confidential. Okay, 18 is 18. Okay, that's easy enough. 17. 20. Two grams more, just like the synthetics. 18L. I wonder if this is going to be one or two grams more. 21 or 22? Let's see. 22. 21. Perfect. So, polys are going to weigh more than synthetics, as we just learned, at least with the confidentials and the professionals. Um, you saw that the 18 weighed 18 grams. The 17 weighed 20 grams. And then the 16L weighed 21 grams, which tells me that the 16, the real 16, will weigh 22 grams. Um, again, we're not going to take those 22 grams in altogether. My guesstimate is... Um, if you use 16L, you're probably adding about 18 grams to your um, to the weight of the racket. Okay. So next, we're going to do grips. Now, a lot of people ask me, leather, synthetic. I want to add more weight to my racket um, on the bottom. I'm going to put a leather grip on. Well, this is the number one selling leather grip. Uh, and this is one of the best selling um, grips out there from Babolat, the Syntec Pro. So I'm going to just weigh them and see if it actually adds more weight. So I got my leather out, got my Syntec Pro out. Okay, so let's start with the Syntec Pro. Okay, again, we're probably not going to use all of this. Um, that film might weigh a little bit, but let's see if there's a difference. 20 on the dot. Syntec Pro. Leather. 25. You just added 5 grams or so to your racket with a leather grip. So there is a weight difference in leather versus a synthetic, okay? Now, and so guys, every, I mean, I know everybody uses over grips, okay? I have um, the Wilson Pro Overgrip in this hand, Gamma Supreme in this hand. Now, I'll bet, when you get your racket and you say, hey, my Babolat Pure Drive is 11.1 ounces strong. Okay, now that's with the strings and not one of these. How much does an overgrip add to your racket? Well, if you use this full overgrip, I'm going to show you. So some people don't trim these because you don't have a scissor on the court and or you're too lazy. Uh, so I'm going to tell you how much the whole thing weighs here now. Okay. So let's just start with the most, uh, most popular color, the white one. Okay. Six grams. You just added six grams by using that pro overgrip white. There's finishing tape in there too. So how about, does the color change anything? It does. You added one more gram because of the green dye in this one. So you went from six grams in the white to seven grams in this green. Now, how about Gamma Supreme? I've always touted Gamma Supreme as being a little thicker and a little more durable. So let's go Gamma Supreme white, the most popular color. I mean, it even looks thicker. Maybe it's the way it's wrapped. Oh, shoot, it's got plastic in it. So that's going to throw it off a bit. Um, but let's, let's just see. That's nine. I'm sure it's because of that plastic. Okay. What about 
nine. Okay, so I was going to use gamma as a, you know, as a tester too, but I just realized that there's plastic in this that's going to add um, some more grams. So I'm going to switch to uh, SuperTac instead. Um, because this is my favorite over grip right now, even though I don't use one. Um, but if I had to use one, this would be the one. Oops. Fall out? Nope. Okay. Okay. So Dunlop Super Tac White. Okay. Seven. Let me center it. Still seven. Okay. Now, black is the most dye you can add to any overgrip. Does it change anything? It doesn't. It's still seven. Okay. Roughly six to seven grams, depending on if you use the whole thing. Um, I mean, if you're like me, I'm anal and I have to cut it. Okay. And I have to use my own over uh, my own finishing tape because I don't like the finishing tape that most manufacturers supply. So, um, what did we learn today? Well, if you use a thicker gauge string, you will be adding extra gram, two grams to your racket, possibly. If you want to add a leather grip, you added five, six grams to your racket. That dampener you use is going to add anywhere from three to five grams to your racket. That overgrip is going to add six, maybe five, five to six grams to your racket. So if you want to add weight to your racket, naturally, leather grip, overgrip, dampener, that is going to be easily 12, 13, even 14 grams that you're adding to your racket, All right? Is that shocking to you or did you know that already? Uh, hopefully you learned something today, okay? Hey guys, I got a special guest visiting me today. Um, tell me what's your name and where are you from? Hi, my name's James, I'm from Berkeley. Thanks for watching Tennis Bean where we put our spin on your tennis.